Hey guys, it's the Crypto Cowboy coming to you from Chicago on a Friday afternoon here at about uh, 4.45. Uh, and it's the end of the month here, January 31st. And uh, coming to you on YouTube with another uh, weekly uh, Bitcoin wrap up here. And um, my last video was actually on Monday. I, I failed to do a video last weekend, but I've um, done one on Monday. If you guys want to go back and look at that, uh, please, please, uh, please do so. I was talking about uh, the possibility of this wave up here being a triangle. And, um, you know, we actually broke out of here. I was talking about this blue count um, where I was entertaining the possibility of actually this being a fourth wave uh, pullback compared with this wave two instead of a triangle. And, uh, you know, sure enough, we broke out of here. There is a um, another count here that's a little bit more bullish uh, that says that we're actually in a one, two, uh, I'm sorry, one, two, and, and, you know, now we're about to embark on an even stronger trend up without a whole lot of a retracement. And if you're getting very shallow retracement, that means that the strong, the trend is pretty bullish. So I'm not sure if this wave one would be already completed up here and we're doing a very small two, or if this wave two still needs to extend a little bit lower to have to get some kind of a proportionate you know look up here so maybe this wave one extends a little bit higher and then we pull back in a two or you know we're going to come back right now uh but either way um it could it could be that that this is a one two one two and then we're breaking up higher the the, the indication that i'll be looking for um when we're looking for something stronger in a third of a third would be a strong breakout to these channels okay and and that would mean that this wave this this third wave in blue would be quite aggressive and have very small subdivisions and all the one twos will be kind of small so don't never be surprised on a strong trending market uh, that you're not going to get very deep corrections okay so um, you'll see a lot of traders probably trying to go a little bit against the, the grain because that's how the market has been um, uh, has been teasing us on the correction and you might have still the mentality that we're still probably correcting into this market or you know there's got to be a return into you know or a correction or something like that sometimes the market doesn't give you that chance and it keeps going and it creates for example extended third waves or extended fifth waves um, and you know you can stay and you know not to join the move because you're going to think it's going to be a correction and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to join necessarily and take a you know larger risk uh but this is the nature of the market you know like i said many times he wants to rally without a whole lot of traders on board uh because that's the whole point uh of the market so uh let's see what happens but this is basically the red count that's a little bit more bullish and then this count that i have here it's the blue count where we have a one two three four and either an extended fifth or we're almost finished as part of this um, uh, fifth wave and we're doing some kind of a correction so if i'm wrong for example on this subdivision and this is a fifth wave that's completing up here all a little bit higher uh then we have to correct uh, either uh, you know back towards the strand line uh, or back towards 8200 in some kind of a three wave correction you know in an ABC down here and then go back up higher so I won't be surprised if this happens uh, but for that I need the market to start breaking lower below 9180 would be my first pivot and then 8890 and then 8200 would be pretty much a, a, a level of support that do, I, I, I wouldn't want it to be broken to the downside because then there is a risk that this market reverses lower so uh, I do want to stay with the trend I don't want to stay with um, you know with the overall uh, um, kind of bullish interpretation here i don't want to scare myself um, out of the market by thinking that we're necessarily going to correct uh, so if you're in a good position and you know how to kind of run your um, your protective stops below key levels then you should be able to continue to enjoy a rise in the price of bitcoin um, you know if you're thinking that the trend could be mature um, and you're getting indications of that uh, by following certain you know levels then definitely you can raise your protective stops and just kind of get out if the market reverses but um, there are there are tips and tricks that we 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 deploy when we trade uh, the market I talked about it uh, kind of extensively into my course I'll, I'll let you guys um, uh, here shortly just give you a little run 
um, you know, of, of what I have. I think I made a small presentation uh, on the last video about what's there, but I, and I don't want to take up too much time. I'd rather talk about the markets here and, and see where we're going. But um, I think, yeah, I think that the trend is barely started. We were talking about the breakout out of this, um, definitely the breakout out of this uh, longer term corrective channel uh, that we've had since um, middle of uh, 2019. We've been correcting, you know, from June to December, and then we started to break up higher. So this was kind of first indication that uh, the bull market is about to resume. We've had the retest of the trend line, and this could be all we're getting. Uh, so let's see what happens up here near term. Uh, another important thing is that, um, and I want to take you to, um, you know, to the candle charts because the month is about to close up here. I think it's if I'm not mistaken, probably seven o'clock at night, uh, my time, eight o'clock New York time. I think when we're going to get a new candle. But if this is not a bullish candle, I'm not sure what is. And, uh, you know, this is an extremely, extremely, uh, you know, strong indication that um, we're going to get some uh, strength into this market. OK, so um, th th there is there is not much that you would want from a bullish monthly candle other than this. So very clean. Um, you know body with very minimal uh, spikes right so highs and lows up here it's almost closing as a full bullish candle without a lot of fight from the bears so you can notice that the the, the traders are actually pushing the price to close as much as possible above the strand line and uh, you know I can modify it a little bit right it looks like the slope is a little off too um, so I think we're gonna get a closed uh, you know fully bullish close above the trend line so that's a, a very good indication that more than likely you know the next few months up here are going to be bullish so i would expect here the price of bitcoin to go and take uh whatever this was 14,000 or 13,000 highs and um possibly even attacking uh this uh, 20,000 from um uh is it 20,000 is that where we were um because my charts don't go no i think this is the Yes, I think this is the 20,000 mark. Yes. So, uh, um, uh, okay, now I'm curious. I think I messed up my charts. Hold on a second. Let me take a look. Well, my charts don't go any bigger, but I think, yeah, this is uh, the 20,000 mark. Yes, sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I, I have a problem with the chart here, and, you know, it doesn't seem that I'm getting more data. Either uh, either the crypto compare closed for today or something is going on, and it doesn't seem that my data pulls. But, yeah, this is the 20,000 marks. So, uh, yeah, again, it's a, it's a pretty bullish candle. I like it. You can see the size, and you can see pretty much the shape of the corrective candles kind of coming down right so bull corrective and uh, i think we're about to explode up higher here so let's see hopefully uh, but again you know we would need to have a little bit of a confirmation from the next month so if that if next month turns into a, some kind of a doji and you don't get a continuation uh, as a bullish move up here in the month of february then i would uh, start to be worried so i want to see this market if it pulls back just um, quickly if it pulls back here in a corrective manner I, I wanted to see something like this you know as um, as a pullback you know maybe not bigger than that and then and then i want to see something like you know something like this okay If I'm uh, really good at drawing, okay, but I don't want to see anything that's uh, smaller than that, or you know something that just kind of stops up there, and then because the next month, then you could reverse lower. So uh, this is for me what's important for the next month. All right, the other thing is um, I wanted to take a look quickly also at the um, um, moving averages, right? So um, we were, I'm not sure if I've talked about it in the previous video, but um, you know, as um, just as another. Uh, kind of tool in our in our in our uh, you know traders toolbox, uh, w you know, we're, and a lot of people are using the 200 day moving average. So I, I think it's important for the market. It's almost like a you know self fulfilling prophecy when everybody's watching kind of the same thing. But um, you know I think it's an important indicator overall. Uh, it's not obviously my main. I'm I'm always looking at the Elliott wave as my main uh, you know methodology. But uh, the fact that we're closing above this 200 day moving average, I think it's important. Uh, we might get this 55 stars to cross over here in the next few weeks um, or you know maybe even next week we'll see how aggressive the prices are getting to the top side but the fact that we're closing above it i think it's an important indication uh for uh for the bulls uh, 
Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys quickly is just a little bit of um, Ethereum and uh, Litecoin. And, um, you know, as you can see up here, we're still uh, trending higher into the price of Ethereum. And um, this is my best interpretation for right now into the count. Uh, it's basically a one, two, one, two, one, two. A little bit a little bit aggressive but we did get a third move up here um, and now we pulled back in a fourth wave possibly a fifth of blue you know come back in a fourth again in blue go back up higher so um, as long as we're trending and then within this channel I think we're gonna be fine uh, if we are breaking below this then you know I'm gonna start to have some issues but basically my main focus right now is this 155 level overall and if we're not coming below here then I think we're gonna be fine we could be in a complete pattern yet or we could be doing some kind of a you know maybe another fourth wave triangle before we break up higher but I do want to respect the trend and I wanted to stay with it pretty much a kind of similar story in the Litecoin some of the counts up here might be a little bit off um, you know if you have a leading diagonal in one and this is a two um, possibly we already finished the third wave up in green into some fib uh, multiples and then we might be doing a fourth wave up here correction but um, you know I'm still I'm still gonna respect this and just look at it um, you know with the bullish eye until uh, the market proves otherwise okay uh, really quickly let's just look at Ripple um, I think again this is one of the markets that I think you know we've reached a major low up here at 17 cents and we're starting to build a bullish case as well so like across the markets cryptos are uh, kind of turning turning around and uh, you know hopefully embarking in their next um, uh, bullish uptrend towards the summer okay same with stellar I'm watching this like a hawk because I have quite a nice position in it and um, I'm looking at it basically for it to break at the top of this trend line uh, we've been in this down channel for a long time in stellar and uh, I want to see the market kind of start breaking above here and uh, giving us more indication that we're actually finished so um, again I think so far we have a one two possibly another one two so we need to break up higher if this is just another fourth wave uh, in stellar and then we're breaking up higher a little bit then we should expect a second wave pullback and then we go back up so I'll monitor this um, you know um, kind of closely to see what's going on up here but i have some key levels that i'm watching and uh you know those are going to give me clues in what's going to happen next and um just so you know guys we have opened our uh, let me go back to bitcoin here um we have opened our uh, premium room on tuesday night and the response has been pretty nice um you know and uh, i'm doing over the regular video updates you get a lot of charts every two three hours uh with constant updates and uh you know my thoughts about the market where the waves should end where they should go um you know kind of you know what are my levels that i'm watching uh what's important for uh, you know for a retracement uh, how deep I think we should correct if we are uh, so everything that's happening into the market I'm constantly monitoring and and, and kind of giving advice and um, you know suggestions uh, because I want to keep traders on the right side of the market and uh, you know with obviously minimal risk exposures uh, but um, you know I can give you a pretty you know small snippet into the room up here um, that I have and um, let me see if I can find it um, right so this is the subscription okay this is the subscription bot so um, what it is is basically you're gonna you're gonna see a link bef below and um, if you press that link on the bot is gonna take you to the subscription page and um, you'll see you know a couple of options up here like I've said I finished the seven hour course the course by itself is like 289 but um, I'm giving it for free if you are subscribing for at least three months to the service right so a trial is about 29 bucks if you want to try us for a couple of weeks and see how you feel uh, but for a month it's 89 so you know nothing you're nothing there's nothing out there that's going to give you as much information as I do in this in this room um, you know for this price I think it's a it's a nice deal it you know uh, so you know take advantage of it I know it sounds like a like a pitch but uh, you know I don't know how else to, to to do it for you guys so if I'm awkward at it you know forgive me but um, this is what this is what it is so let me take you a uh, a little snippet into the room let me see what I what it is uh, I don't want to put up the client so I think this is Elliot wave cafe yeah there it is so um, this is the room so some of the latest comments that I put up on there was on ethereum you know you can see all my comments this was at about 111 um, we open a trade in gold so we open longs on gold via futures at the market this was at um, you know 11 52 a.m. Chicago so um, 
you know, I put the risk control on it as well, and we are already in profit. I think gold uh, uh, closed strongly today, and we're going to open higher in Asia, so this is going to be a nice trade. Uh, we're going to move the stops here to break even, and and you know, hopefully, we can enjoy a rise into the into the market. Um, you know, we're watching. You can see the comments, kind of, um, you know, on the on the updates on Bitcoin. Uh, same up here. Uh, we've had a very nice trade into the S&P. We were watching, you know, these levels up here into the S&P as we were approaching the 618. Uh, I sent a, I sent an alert as we were um, appearing up here into these levels, and um, you could see how we kind of dropped nicely and we broke uh, through the channel as well. So um, you know, something like that. The trade is working nicely as we break lower to the channel. Um, you know, member video update about 15. You know, this was about 10 minutes. I have another one. Uh, I think last night. And so, uh, you know, we talked about oil. So just a bunch of charts and updates, you know, just regular stuff uh, that I think it's important for the traders. So come and give us a give us a try. I think uh, I think you're going to like it and you're going to enjoy it a lot um, and, uh, you know, see how you feel about it. Um, all right, guys. So um, this is all I have for today. And, you know, thanks again for watching. Uh, don't forget to, um, you know, to hit the thumbs up. Um, you know, there is also a free room, um, you know, where I try to post some charts uh, and, uh, you know, comments out there as well. Um, you know, you can check me out on TradingView. Um, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos. I'm going to see what happens next week. And uh, but I think uh, I think it's exciting. I think uh, the Bitcoin market uh, is turning and we're going to get into some, um, you know, nice uh, bullish move here towards the summer. So um, have a nice um, weekend and uh, I'll see everybody at some point uh, next week or next weekend. Thank you. Bye bye.